So this is a mailbox that I painted when I was about 17. It's been hanging around since then, getting a little beat up. And the pinstripes on it, the red outline of the flames, I think they're really too skinny. I don't like the way that they look. Um, so I've decided to repaint it. And it's kind of hard to tell here, but I put a clear vinyl mask over the bigger part of the flames to cut that out and then just taped off the rest. Airbrushed it silver again to give it a little refresh. That's my favorite part right there, unmasking. <laughs> So the next step is to redo the pinstripe, and the first time I did it on top of the clear coat, so I clear coated the silver and the white first. This time I'm doing the pinstripe first and then clear coating. So it was a little trickier, I had to be more careful not to mess anything up because it's a lot harder to wipe off. This footage was from a couple weeks ago by now, but I took this mailbox out to the Syracuse Nationals and it went up for auction at the charity brush fest event. So I don't think I've ever actually clear coated pinstripe paint before, and I didn't think that would be a problem, but it didn't quite turn out the way I was expecting. If you look closely at the tips of the flames when I move to the other side, you can actually see it like bleeding down. And honestly, I wish it had done that over the whole thing. I think if I was going for that effect, it would have looked really cool. And especially the other side looks cool, I guess, but now I'm stuck with this mailbox literally a day before the show that looks not quite presentable, so I had to figure out something to do to fix that. So I decided to paint Hot Stuff the Little Devil on there, and I think that kind of saved it. I made it look like he was kind of melting the flames off, and I put him in a different position on the other side to switch it up a little. And this one I put my signature on his leg to look like a little tattoo. So here's the final product. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like I'm gonna do another one or something else with flames and try to go for that bleeding look and see how it comes out.